Okay, one last final launch trailer before MW2 comes out. And uh, yeah, I'm I'm actually way more hyped up and excited for this now that I've gotten hands-on with it and we've had the beta stuff going on and all that. Um, I had a good time with the beta. So it's I'm just like waiting for the game to come out now. Uh, and I really, really want to see what the hell they do with this story because Modern Warfare 2019 had one of my favorite Call of Duty stories. I know that there was some controversy around some of the missions and everything, but my God, was the story really well done. It was, it was really well written on the characters wise and everything and all the, all the, the different, you know, adventures and scenes and everything, the experience, it was, it was the most realistic experience of like modern day combat that we've had in a Call of Duty in a long time. So I'm really hoping that we get the same thing from this. Um, you know, and also Vanguard and uh, like Cold War, I thought was really well done too. And I've never really gotten into Black Ops as much, um, but I thought that was really well done. So this one, I mean, it's, you know, we've had a few Call of Duty's having some really good stories being told. So hopefully this, uh, this holds up also. Anyways, let's, uh, let's jump into this. Let's check it out and, uh, and see what ends up happening with MW2 uh, Remake. A weird war. We don't know his name. Money, weapons, intel. He's planning something. Sergeant McDavish, welcome to the City of Souls. <laughs> there are few here to uphold the law, and many of those who resist corruption disappear. Going a little bit south of the border there. Terrorism is good for business. As long as there is a war on terror, there will be no real war on drugs. Uh. The cartels. We are not Price. Four, one, and lost for Keros. We're a team. I want to know how many they have and where they intend to use them. Ghosts in there. Yeah. Picture. All set. These things take planning and preparation. These things take violence and timing. Woo. I can do both. Don't Johnny down there. You're the, the ghost commander squad. of a foreign terror organization. I can say the same to you. Digitally pre-order Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2 and yeah. the campaign up to a week early. Yes, I got to. Um, yeah. You're the one who's rude. Oh, geez. Oh, oh, geez. Um, <laughs> uh, yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, all right. All right, looks looks pretty damn good. Um, so we got ghosts and soap here. I'm wondering. So ghosts, it, it, it surprises me, but a lot of people don't know. Ghost has a huge backstory to him of like comic books and everything that they made way back in the day. Now this is a different, you know, like I said, this is a remake timeline. So um, all the comic books and whatnot that they made back then, they can draw inspiration out from it. But I'm wondering if they're going to draw inspiration and references from the original story of Ghost to build the brand new badass kick-ass, you know, Ghost that we have now. I don't think he's going to die in this i think he's going to be like one of those mainstay characters that because everybody loves him so much and this is a remake this is retelling the story of of modern warfare of price and soap and ghosts and everything uh i think that's going to be the three-man squad going forward of like oh shit the boys are back in town kind of like it's kind of like vibe going on here so um yeah yeah this is uh, the White House, you know, and there, you know, all the chains of command between the Pen uh, Pentagon, the White House, I almost called the, the Penthouse. Um, yeah, just like seeing all the chain of command that's, you know, the, the military has to go through to get missions approved and, and to go on the missions and all that. Um, and then you're also going south of the border with the drug cartels and everything. So there's going to be a lot of like border action going on with this. It's, it's going to be very topical, I feel. Um, I wonder if Favela is going to make a return also in this, because if we're going, I'm pretty sure Favela was, was the same kind of vibe. Uh, well, it was, it was supposed to be kind of a uh, Mexican, you know, or Mexico uh, map. Um, it seems like, so task force one for one feels like it's going to be like a ghost squad in a, in a sense. Um, 
again, I mean, look at all this crazy ass storytelling that's that's getting told here. Whether whether or not you're a fan of MW twenty nineteen, you got you gotta admit the the quality of the cutscenes and the acting and all that stuff that's happening in this and just the way that they're they are sticking to a lot of high details um in the squad you know when, when they're when they're breaching and clearing what you know the types of stuff that maybe happens at the border uh that's you know all this stuff all this stuff come is coming together to, for like one really really good uh production i mean look at the look at the details on all these guns and everything too um i think that that moment right there everybody's probably like that's ghost dying no, I, everything's blowing up around him, and he's just like, "Oh shit!" <laughs> that's what that moment is. I don't think that's that's him dying, getting you know kicked into the the hole and, and buried or and whatnot. Um, in all honesty, the character that kills ghosts, we've we've already dealt with him in Warzone. So this is again, this is a remake. This is a retelling of the story. It's a reimagining of the original. Modern Warfare. So if you're thinking that this is just a remaster and it's just, you know, upscaled and, uh, you know, polished up from the original one, no, it's very, very much different. Um, they, they failed their mission right there. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Again, too, look at the rain and everything that's, that's happening. Ha ha. Yeah, yeah, fully customizing the weapons and everything, just like we were seeing in the beta. Um, you get to play as Ghost if you pre-order uh, right now, I do believe. It, it unlocks Ghost because he is in Warzone and he is in um, Modern Warfare, I do believe. Yeah, 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 yeah. Duh, duh. Um, it's been a while since I played Modern Warfare 2019. Um, I played like three seasons of it. I got burnt out on it and I was like, okay, I, I think I've done everything in this. Uh, so I'm just, I'm waiting for Modern Warfare 2 now because again, Modern Warfare is like Infinity Ward Modern Warfare. That is my, that's my jam with Call of Duty. Again, the Ghost Squad. Um, and we've seen this in the beta. Everybody had like the ghost mask on. I'm like, okay, what's up with this? You can't even see, you can't even tell its price and whatnot. So I guess probably Day of the Dead. Yeah, like they're gonna, they're, we're gonna have a shootout with Day of the Dead, and everybody's gonna have their, you know, their Day of the Dead, because this looks very like Day of the Dead kind of aesthetic going on here. Um, it'd be funny if Ghost didn't have his mask on; he just walked up with the with the skull face paint on. Um, but yeah, yeah, this looks this looks great. Um, this is definitely we're gonna have some border stuff going on for sure. I think this is going to be one of these main cutscenes. The reason why they're showing this over and over and over again, this is going to be one of these main cutscenes where all hell breaks loose. So, um, this guy seems like he might be work. He might be a double agent of some kind, just the way that he's he's sounding. Let's listen to this one more time. You're the commander of a foreign terror organization. I can say the same to you. Wait. Wait, just one more time. Can't name it YouTube. You're the commander of a foreign terror organization. And he's just got that my my radar goes off of like, I don't know about this guy. <laughs> it's just, even off from that, you know, you it I can say the same to you. So this is gonna be your main your main guy that you're looking for. Um they're going to, I'm, I'm going to say in this cutscene, they're going to cut a deal back and forth. I'm pretty sure it's soap right there. He's going to be like, what the fuck? And then he's going to call up price and be like, there's some bullshit going down. And that's, there you go. There's your ghost squad. Um, just my prediction. I don't know. So we'll see. We'll see what ends up happening. But, uh, yeah, 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 yeah. This, uh, uh, I, there was another thing that a lot of people were like, I wonder if they're going to make the no Russian thing i don't think they're going to do that no uh this is not you're not fighting against really the russians in this you're fighting against the the in cartel it seems like so um it's very topical it seems very topical of what's been going on the last few years um with the border stuff that's that's been going on you know open their open or close the border and the border wall and you know every and, and all the you know, illegal immigration that's been happening, but also, you know, you know, that the whole news thing around all that, you know, you, you can't go 
one day without hearing about that stuff in news feeds and, you know, social media and all that stuff. So yeah, it's, you know, Call of Duty is not afraid to get topical, especially Infinity Ward. So, you know, we've had these issues going on for a number of years now and hopefully it's going to be based on some true stories that happened at the border over the last few years. And we get a taste of like, okay, here's what the, you know, border patrol agents and also the um, the military that is stationed around the border and trying to, you know, stop terrorists or whatever else that might be trying to come to the border. Because there's a lot of times there is terrorists and stuff that, that you just never hear about, you know, like you, they can't put it on the news and everything. Um, years ago, I, I knew a couple of people that worked that used to work the border patrol um, in one of my old call of duty teams i was playing with um and they were like yeah there's stuff that happens that you just don't hear about on the news just because you know you don't want the public to get all panicked and everything so um yeah yeah there's uh god toys for bob they used to make call of duty <laughs> uh they used to make crash bandicoot sorry uh now they're making call of duty it's like ugh. and Beanox also they made crash team racing and now they're all on call of duty so hopefully these teams all come through and they they you know have their day in the sun i heard something about sledgehammer might be working on advanced warfare 2 also i'm like that could be cool i mean i'd like advanced warfare myself i love the movement of it so um if they do that, I don't really care for the futuristic stuff anymore, but uh, I don't know. Advanced Warfare was like this middle ground of like, it's kind of modern day, but it's a little bit futuristic with jetpacks and stuff. Who knows? We'll see what ends up happening there. But first, we got to get through MW2. Um, so yeah, again, I'm going to try my hardest to do a launch night of the campaign, launch night of the multiplayer, launch night of the uh, of Warzone 2.0. And, uh, and go through and do a battle pass and everything else. Uh, hopefully I already had the battle pass set and ready to go. So yeah, hopefully it'll be, uh, it'll be a lot of Call of Duty content coming up on the, uh, on my Twitch channel. Um, so we uh, twitch.tv backslash werewolf and, uh, yeah, we'll, uh, we'll do the damn thing over there. Um, and I don't know if there's some of it might, if I had some really good games and everything with high kill counts or whatever, then I might actually put that over on YouTube. Uh, I'll definitely do probably launch nights. I, I'll have that whole stream put up, maybe uh, probably uncut, just so you can see exactly what's going on with the game. Because um, again, I, I still say the best way to see a game is to see it uncut, unedited, full on, just like a live stream of it. And then you can see exactly what's going on, whether servers are working, whether gameplay is, is polished up, or you know whatever the case may be. So anyways, um, yeah. I'll, most likely the full campaign I'll probably put up on YouTube, but uh, yeah, that's going to do it. So hit the, uh, hit the sub button, the like button, the share button, the, the bells and the whistles and everything else that's on YouTube. You know what it is. Um, and yeah, uh, be on the lookout for more Let's Talks, stream replays and more. Uh, so yeah, thanks for tuning in. Thanks for stopping by. And as always, I will see you next time.